Image SCP-3022 Item Number SCP-3022 Index Hooked on a Feeling Object Class Thaumiel Special Containment Procedures Every instance of VIP-576 must keep one copy of SCP-3022 on their person at all times. All instances of VIP-576 are to remain at Site-19 at all times. Redundant copies of SCP-3022 are kept in Storage Locker 813-A, B, and dash C. Any individual in possession of such an item must be detained, and if possible, their Baseline Universe Foundation must be contacted in order to establish a plan of action. Monomyth Protocol. All restrooms at Site-19 possess hooks affixed to the interior of each stall via electromagnet. In the event of a Type 5 Plus containment breach at Site-19, or a K-Class event of any kind, these electromagnets should be automatically deactivated, and VIP-576 should be instructed to activate SCP-3022 as soon as possible. All alternate universe foundations with which the Baseline Foundation is in contact must also follow this protocol, whether or not they possess a copy of VIP-576. Description SCP-3022 is an object constructed primarily of steel, approximately 13 centimeters in length and weighing 316 grams. When held by an unaccompanied human in a stall in a public restroom which possesses no hook suitable for hanging a coat or similar object, SCP-3022 will transport the holder to an alternate universe in which the stall possesses such a hook and is unoccupied. In most cases, the difference between the original universe and the destination universe is minimal, less than 14 degrees. Timeline divergence generally occurs no earlier than the construction of the venue in question, and follows the least differences principle. A universe's tendency to receive instances of SCP-3022 is likely a function of how deliberate the decision to install hooks in a particular facility was. Those in which the decision was made, in accordance with established design principles, have few similar universes in which hooks were not installed. The Baseline Foundation has acquired instances of SCP-3022 from individuals traveling from alternate universes. The principles of SCP-3022's operation, as well as its origin, are unknown. It was originally recovered from the possession of A civilian who appeared inside SCP-984 on 2016-0808. He was attacked by a rabid grizzly bear while inside SCP-984 and escaped with fatal injuries. Prior to Mr. S's death, it was established that SCP-984 displayed no anomalous properties in his baseline universe and that he had received SCP-3022 from an unspecified friend. Investigation of the baseline native, Mr. has found no involvement with anomalous activity and failed to locate any instance of SCP-3022. Addendum. SCP-3022 is the only portable item in the Foundation's possession that enables substantial cross-universe transportation. By order of the O5 Council, SCP-3022 has been allotted to VIP-576 to use as a last-minute resort to avoid death and or fundamental reality alteration. Cross-universe coordination under the Monomyth Protocol has ensured that, when activated, SCP-3022 will transport VIP-576 to a universe in which no major containment breach or K-class event is occurring. Currently, VIP-576 is the only Foundation-controlled VIP that is likely to remain relevant in the aftermath of a K-class scenario. And as such, the Monomyth Protocol has not been expanded to include other VIPs.